Hello, this is Osa Sumchero from Motive Center. We meet once again. I remember last time we shared a nugget from my book, The Pharaoh Model of Leadership, where we said that Pharaoh used the power to empower. He empowered Joseph and he gave him power on time. Today I want to share with you another nugget before you come for the launch, which is the fact that um, Pharaoh had an encounter with Jacob. By the way, Jacob was Joseph's father. So it's quite an interesting encounter if you read about it. This is what happened. Joseph brought Jacob, his father, before Pharaoh. And when Pharaoh met Jacob, the first thing he asked him was, how old are you? Don't you find that strange that you are meeting someone for the first time, and the first question that you, you, you pose is how old they are. Now, that happens when you see something strange about the person or something unusual about the person. You see that he has achieved too much for his age or he looks too old and frail for his age, only usually in those two circumstances. So Pharaoh asked Jacob, how old are you? Now, you would expect Jacob to reply by simply stating his age. But what did he say? He started throwing a pity party. He said, the years of the, years of the days of my pilgrimage is 130. Short and evil have been the years of the days of my pilgrimage and have not attained to what my fathers attained. Look, this is a pity party. He has started complaining about how bad life has treated him. So I guess that's why Pharaoh started by asking for his age, because this seemed to have been a very negative man. Do you know people like that? The first time you meet them, they want to tell you about how bad life has treated them. We all have been dealt a blow by life. Everyone has got a story, but you've got to pick yourself and hurry off because everything depends on you. So what's interesting in this encounter is, after Jacob started with his pity party, what do you hear from Pharaoh? Nothing. Silence. That was the end of their meeting. Why? Because Pharaoh didn't entertain negativity. Pharaoh hated negativity with a passion and that ended their meeting. I'm sure that people, you know, when you meet them and ask them, good morning, what's good about it? How are you? Not too bad. They are always negative. That's why Les Brown said some people are too negative that if they are put in a dark room, they start to develop. There are people like that who are always negative, but Pharaoh, he hated this kind of negativity. Well, one interesting thing about people who murmur and complain is that 50% of the people to whom you complain, they just don't care. 30% is actually happy, it's not them in that predicament. And 20% is actually happy, it's you who is struggling. So what am I saying? Pick yourself and hurry off. Because if you want to meet Pharaoh, throw away negativity. And Pharaoh had no time for negativity. That's why I like the words of uh, Robert Ellis who said, the day that you start to enjoy life is when you realize that your problems are your own. You don't blame them on your mother, the ecology or the president. You know that you are the author of your own destiny. So this is just one of the nuggets. Pharaoh hated negativity. If you want to stand before ordinary people, or if you want to associate with ordinary people, go ahead and complain, remaining with your negativity. But if you want to stand before kings and you want to stand before Pharaoh, do away with the negativity. Real kings, real leaders, they have no time for negativity. They have no time for people who throw pity parties. So I'm inviting you on the 24th of February, 2022, Central African time, 6.30 p.m. on Zoom. Just go to www.motivecenter.com. You will find a link to register. And I hope to see you there.